With Steve Evans at the helm, Stevenage did the impossible and got promoted automatically to League One. The team then lost a lot of players upon promotion, but started very well in the third tier. Today, we're finally going to take control of Stevenage here in the third division of England with only 1.7 million as a budget in League 3. And we've got to rebuild this team. There's a couple of players that have left as well, like Danny Rose is now a Mariner, a Grimsby player. Bostwick's now playing at Boston United. Norris is at Tranmere, I believe. Yeah, a lot of switches have happened in this team, so we've got to switch it ourselves. I'm not going to lie, with the team that we had, I expect to go down, but they want mid-table. Okay, so we've got to work wonders and use the academy. If they mean this academy that's bare as anything, we're gonna struggle. So let's get cooking. Luke Norris is the first one out the door. And Danny Rose will follow, so we need a striker. So here we are in the office trying to negotiate for another one. Before our first game of the season with Bolton. So welcome to the club on the cheap, Brandon Hanlon. He's cost almost two Luke Norris's. But he's actually decent. So here we go. Bolton Wanderers. Is there a shock in store for the big guys? They are a decent team. But in this, we do start off with the win over them. Hanlon on his debut with the winner. A brilliant goal for Hanlon. But he is not going to get left on his own up front. Because we brought another striker in Samuelson to the club. This man's from Hogsund. We've scouted in Norway and done well. Hanlon's actually suspended himself. But him and Samuelson as the new partnership up front. Along with the rest of the team and an injured Ashby Hammond. Can this do well in League One? I don't know how this squad's doing. Is it good enough? It's 12th. It's survival. It's very clear survival as well. Cambridge United in 21st on 29 points. So it is only the four points. There's a lot of other teams in the drop with us if we are going to be there. Looks like our strikers are doing very well together. I love that. The only problem is Frisbeck in goal. And all the loanees. All of them have run off. I don't know what to do about this goalkeeping situation because we've only got 503k. And honestly, no one is leaving. We've got three hours left. We're going to be stuck with our youngster in goal. But in the end, we do finish 12th. So our goalkeeper woes didn't really affect us. 61 points. Leighton Orient were on 45. It is clear survival for Stevenage. Absolutely brilliant. As the FA Cup goes to Liverpool. Carabao to Liverpool as well. Papa John's, we didn't put up a fight, but... A hey, Bolton beat Lincoln. A season that we've got to remember. It's TBD all over the promotion playoffs. I'm very happy with how we've done. That team still needs a bit of building and definitely a goalkeeper. Brilliant first season, but we've got to get the wage bill up. Two million. Two million? Are you joking me? How we expect her to fight for promotion with only two million as a budget? That is what I'm asking of the board. Keep the salary growth down as well. It's only going to go up. So let's buy our first player this season. And I'll tell you what, it's not a goalkeeper, but it's a player I'm putting a lot of trust in. I'm hoping we can make money somehow because we just spent two million all our budget on Sinclair Armstrong of QPR. This kid looks like he's breaking through the ranks in the championship. So to get him to League One is brill. What a signing Armstrong's going to be. Straighten the team with Samuelson as we do have a goalkeeper coming in after Black pole which is going to be difficult as expected and here he is the goalkeeper our new number one is simon moore from the bench at coventry for only 250k we've been very shrewd and it hasn't been a great start to the season results wise but we brought in another young striker samson Tavide from colchester going cheap as elliot list left the club so can we survive again and expected to fight for promotion but find ourselves 23rd oh my days five points off bristol rovers we've got to kick ourselves up the gas to catch the gas team's a lot better as well we've got 800k to spend but do i really want to waste it because it won't be on a world beater at this moment in time we're just gonna try and motivate the squad we have been offered a managerial job elsewhere as well barnsley Sorry, boys, but we've got a challenge here. And a transfer request from Sinclair Armstrong. This is getting fun now. At least we've got some academy prospects, like we've got Charles Cartwright, who 
just going straight into the first team. Could be our keeper. Whew. And at least we have survived. 57 points. 9 points surviving. We had a good second half of the season, but we can't let that happen again. We also have managed to keep hold of Sinclair Armstrong. Did he score most goals for us? No, he didn't. Brandon Hanlon. Good job. Everyone is signed up for next season. Everyone is raring to go. So can we actually fight for promotion next, please? Please let us keep the job. But please give us more money, please. Three million alongside fighting for promotion again. I can't do this. So first things first, out with Max Clark and another player who it hasn't announced, but it was actually Samuelson. And we're actually going to use the free agent market here with a big one. Alex Mowat drops down to Stevenage. We got rid of players. We've still got money, but we've got this quality man. He's going to absolutely be huge just sitting a bit behind the triangle free at the front. Huge player in that midfield who doesn't have an immediate impact as we lose to Plymouth, but we're still transferring. And we've managed to make that other signing after that game, which is Josh Reed, who was on loan here before, now a permanent. And just before we get into it, the unlucky number 13, hopefully lucky with Runar Norheim. We've paid two million, but this guy looks the real deal. This is better, Stevenage. This is a lot better. Still, it's not there. It's not promotion, but it's the same points as Blackpool, who do sit in sixth in those playoffs. If we could just reach those, there's some good teams in this league, but I have faith. And throughout the season, we lost Hanlon to a release clause, but we did make these playoffs, us Charlton, Ipswich and Cardiff. We've got to get promoted. We genuinely have to get the better of Cardiff City, though, which is going to be difficult with some good players, but we win. And in the second leg, we absolutely hammer Cardiff City. Five goals. That's making me feel better about Wembley. Which Caesars against Ipswich Town. And Sinclair Armstrong continue his goal scoring, which he has been doing. Only one way to find out. Yes, he can. He scores the winner. And Stevenage finally are in the championship after three long seasons. We've made it. Promotion. Yeah, he's 16 million in the championship. That's enough to compete, isn't it? Oh my days, don't tell me. Right, we don't have to keep the wages down, but the one that's in mid-table will be lucky to survive. So the championship, signing time. Zidane Ibqualfu, who was released from Man United, is the first one. And the next one is a good bit of money spent on an experienced defender. Welcome to the club, Tom Holmes. And we start off our season still with transfers to make, but we've got QPR. Gareth Ainsworth versus Steve Evans. Some very good English managers there as we do suffer defeat. And our final signing, sticking to the philosophy of our formation, is our new number one over Simon Moore for almost four million. Shreko Oman, six foot six, 18 year old, 70 overall. He is going to keep the clean sheets. And this team is improving a lot. You can see Tavid still stepped into this team well with Armstrong. Alex Mowat's doing well. The defence isn't really improving like Omen isn't. But halfway through the season, we are 15th in the championship. All them seasons to steady yourselves have paid off. And come the end of this season, we're skipping straight to it. 18th in the league. It's just survival, kind of, with Derby, Plymouth, Coventry going down. And hey, it's stability. It's something to build on. But I think we suffered, yes, 22 defeats. That ain't good. As the FA Cup won by Newcastle on penalties. But I've got to say, we lost to Arsenal after beating Man City. There's the playoff teams in our division. Just get Watford up so we don't play them maybe next year as we've got to be targeting ourselves as Sinclair Armstrong 22 year old 77 rated to wide scoring Ibs Gual I don't know how you say that but all I'm going to say is we're going to build up and let's go for promotion straight away so the next season in the championship are we actually going to push on this season because they want us mid-table okay Again. Oh, after contracts, it's only 4 million, but we have managed to change this team up. We've got Butcher coming through the ranks, who has gone up as an attacking midfielder, and this team looks actually decent in this formation. So we're going to kick off our signings with a right back. James Wilding is decent, but we need a bit more youth in that position. So we've gone big with the budget. Welcome to the club, Igor Almeida, who is a new Brazilian right back from Monaco. I believe we've got an absolute gem right there for Stevenage. And he's going to have a big tester for the first game. We've got Everton at home. Is it the Lamex Stadium? I'm not pretty sure with the Stevenage Stadium as we are absolutely hammered. 
and I kind of expected that one. If only we could bring in a bit more help, but we can't. We can't afford anything with only two million, so deadline day is over. And Stevenage, with a decent team, have to try and compete. And before our tricky test at Fratton Park, we sit ninth in the league. This is mid-table, but better. I don't think we'll be reaching the playoffs with 10 points off West Brom. But if we can just finish high mid-table, that surely is a bigger budget for next year. Not surprised we're playing that well, as we've got a brilliant team. Our next replacements probably have to be defenders and another attacking midfielder next season. Or this season. Do we go for a midfielder if we can? And after a relatively quiet January, on deadline day we've sold more to his old team Barnsley and signed a Barnsley midfielder. We got the money from Alex of course and reinvested it in a younger version of him in John Russell for 3.6. See if he can make an impact in our top half push. And genuinely what a finish. A load of points joint on 67 points. We were one off the playoffs where Huddersfield grabbed the spot. We were one point off. Goal difference wasn't in our favour, to be fair. That's a sensational finish, that. To be in the mixer, at least. Speaking of some good stuff, look at the ratings in the squad. We've got Sinclair Armstrong, now trumped by Zidane Ibqual, who's brilliant. Our goalkeeper, Shreko, and Noah Butcher, the youngster. Nordheim, Russell, they're all coming good. And I honestly expect a promotion push next season with the goal-scoring talisman, Armstrong. Seven million. Honestly, we saved four million last year, so we've got three million on top of that. And I'm guessing they do want a promotion push with how our team is looking. Yep, fight for promotion. This board is the worst. And this season, actually starting in a bit of a downward spiral. Sinclair Armstrong's gone to Leicester for 23 million. Hey, money in the bank, but we've lost a big player. It has allowed us to bring in a centre-back, though. Archie Wilkinson over from Camber. And we still have 19 million. And soon after Wilkinson, the replacement comes in in Kyle Joseph. A youngster, or was a youngster whose potential skyrocketed to 76 with the Swans. He's in before Plymouth, and this is going to be one long save. I'm just seeing how many seasons we've already done, and we're still not getting the wins in the championship. We're even going to free signings now to strengthen our bench. Ethan Galebraith, we only allowed one, though. And he's joining Ipqual as one of the Man United youngsters. And we've got another player in, just to strengthen the defence. Like I said, Mark Bowler, that is them all in. This has to be a promotion push. And I would have been gassed with this last season, but this year I'm a bit different. We're ninth and we're three points off the playoffs, miles away from Leeds and Watford, who are comfortably in there. Leicester as well. We need to do better. We've got six million, but I honestly don't want to sign any more players. That team is good enough to get out of the championship with Ipqual, with Omen. Come on. And our good form at the end of the year has given us a playoff chase with Leeds United in the championship playoffs. Watford lurk. I do not want to be playing Watford in the final. West Brom are playing them as it was sixth. Of course it was. But to be fair, we closed the gap between us and the others. Come on, we're at home for this first leg and our team is looking great with ratings now as it is a 1-1 draw. And the second leg here, we're away from home at Leeds United. But we get the job done. The butcher in our midfield come on playoff final and of course it's Watford that we have it says we're away from home but it's technically Wembley and we get the job done Watford I'm actually liking playing them now because they can never beat us Joseph at the double and Russell sees us to the Premier League 35 million for our first season in the Prem I mean I expected lower than like the 50 mark you usually get with Stevenage but they've got to expect just avoid relegation, as they do. Not much pressure. Saying that, I'm putting pressure on myself because I do feel like we can turn this side into an easy surviving one. More than usual if we get some defenders and attacking midfielders in. And I have no idea how we've just done this. But Zidane Ibqual has gone to Everton for 106 million. That is one of the biggest chunks of money stolen from another club I've ever experienced. He's going to fund a lot of signings, including our first one. We've gone for the defender first of Jonathan Panzo. But joining Panzo is a new striker, Nathan Matthew. 25 million, but he looks potential-wise brilliant. And just before we get into the season, not our last transfer, but our biggest is Killian Sildiala. Or Sildilia. He's come across from Bilbao for big bucks. So all these signings are going to prepare us for our first game of the season. It so of course, Steve Evans still in charge, done his press conference, and now we have to play the big boys. Still without a midfielder, 
And we've got beat. Of course. We can't get too serious about that result as the next signing is in. That midfielder that I mentioned, Ledois, has signed from Leeds and he's in the Prime Gaming Kit. That is our team for the Premier League season. Some good ratings in there. I'm not the biggest fan of using Galbraith, but we've got to just roll with the punches that we're, of course, got into roll with. And do we need to replace Galbraith or are we okay as... Oh, no, we're not okay. We're in the relegation zone. Still, we're not sunken. I think that's when we will be surviving because we always do better in the second half of the season. It's just a MWS thing. I am not worried at all with it being a point because we still have 17 million plus, of course, Galbraith if we sell him himself. So we need an attacking midfielder. As here is our man coming in from a championship side like Ladois Marcelino Nunez of Norwich. And that's good. I told you. I told you we'd survive. It's not as comfortable as I expected though. Only three points, but with the team we had... We had to. Now chance to look at some cups, which were nowhere near in the FA Cup. The Carabao, nowhere near as well. We really want to build next season as we've got an 87 rated in Noah Butcher. Our youngster, Sildilia, is doing well. Enzo Ledoy, Nordheim, Matteo, the new striker. But we've got Kyle Joseph unhappy. Need to sell him and need to keep on improving. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Honestly, is someone having a laugh? behind me. Sorry, Butcher, but yeah, you're probably gone because we need to raise some money to try and buy some central defenders, a left back, and a replacement for himself. With no money, surely you guys can forgive me for a free signing in the Premier League. Charles Yeboah. You know how good this man is. Terrible joke, I know, but this guy's the future. He's probably going to be a centre-back instead of Panzo. And to join Yeboah, we've got Tim Webber. Now this man from Hibernian. What a man. He's 17 year old and he's 78 rated. This man seriously has some potential. So Ladois and him swapping round for this team that's getting better. And again this season with our improved team, Arsenal. Please, we've still managed to keep Butcher and spend some money and we're smashed by them again. Are the board not seeing what I'm seeing? Just the two signings for us this season. Ladois we've managed to keep, Butcher the same. I'd be surprised if we actually don't go down. Yep, I told you we'd be close. We are actually got so close to surviving, which has me a bit shocked. But do I think we'll survive? Mm, uh, depends what we do now. It's not the greatest of moves, but Ludovic Reese is the only thing I could think of from relegated Crystal Palace to improve us. Hey, and Ludovic Reese did make a difference just above the relegation zone again, but four points clear, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's not that much better. We can't be too happy as FA Cup. We were again nowhere near that. It's stupid. As then the same. We lost to Chelsea in the Carabao, so that's fair enough. But this team must be better than this. 90 rated player in Noah Butcher at 22. Matthew's brilliant. Ladoy, Nordheim, Sildilia. I just don't get how we're doing as bad as we are in this division. 33 million. Back up there a little bit with the money. And of course, it is a left back and a centre back. No position other than that. Needs improvement. And with some of us players, I want to beat the mid-table that they expect. I want to beat, well, it says to sell three players. Probably Butcher, maybe Matthew, maybe Weber. But we need to sell because I want to build a full over 80 rated squad to challenge conference. And there is the message we half expected. Butcher, 167 million for our Youth Academy graduate. So let's bring in that Calvary, shall we? We're gonna get so many good players. First one, brilliant, experienced, Nathan Collins, as he's closely followed by Eunice Musa. And our final signing, just before our first game against Aston Villa, is Lucas Edgar, a left back who's very good from Chelsea. Very much looking forward to getting this season started. Nunes now the weakest in the team at right midfield, but he scores as we win our first game for once. And the final signing before the season gets cut is Patrick Vimmer, who fell down the pecking order at West Ham. That's most of the money gone. Still a little bit for January, but we've got enough good squad players for now. And the last two seasons, we've been in the bottom three come halfway through. This time, it is the top three. We're above Manchester City by one point. Three behind Liverpool and Man United. This is brilliant for the Borough. This team, I need to keep on showing it because it's doing wonders. Yes, it's quite different to the one that you'd originally associate with Stevenage, but I, I don't want to make another signing. I trust the squad. Oh, hang on. We've actually got 33 million. Like, 
Could we get an improvement maybe on Musa in the midfield or the goalkeeper? So we're going to get scouting just like Brighton. Signing one of their ex-players, Bart Verbruggen. He sat on the bench at City. So we've got him to Borough. And ladies and gentlemen, Bart Verbruggen. Not Fart Verbruggen. That's the wrong name. Art Verbruggen's made an impact to beat his old team to fourth position in the Premier League. Stevenage, the Borough, Steve Evans is going to be coaching in the Champions League. What an icon of the lower English league games. As you can see, Man United won the FA Cup. We were nowhere near again. Again, as the Carabao, the exact same. These trophies ain't for us. With our new well-balanced club, we are just killing it. Matteo's now 87 rated, Ledoy 86, 83 from Musa, and then Nordheim 87. I am just so glad we got him as a signing. The new Erdegaard, get him in your career modes. And after contracts, the Champions League Stevenage has 83 million in the bank, which is okay. It's okay. There's no question about it. We're spending all that money on one player to improve this squad. Or actually, I'm quite wrong with how we're going to spend the money. A backup striker and a midfielder is what is going to be joining the club. As you can recognise the first man, these two are getting high wages, but Gabriel Jesus as backup. He's 34 year old, but this guy isn't young as well. It's Conor Gallagher, 31, but he jumps straight to the midfield. What a player for Steve Evans. So a very much improved squad for the first game, which is West Ham United here. Our squad should be miles better than theirs. Please start off strong. Bloody Wilfred Nonto. Okay, so we don't start off the Premier League strong, but we get to see our Champions League group. We're expected to reach the final with Atalanta, Olympic Marseille and Dynamo Kiev in our group. Not the worst. No other big team. But there's a lot of big teams in this competition. Oh my days. I've never seen a stinkier month in all my life. Especially for the team we have. But we're only 13, so that means we just had a horrid December. But done okay overall. Please say we threw in the Champions League. We are! Oh, Real Madrid. There's a lot of teams through here, which you don't expect. Lich, Poznan, and Midgieland. We actually topped the group, but would have been better off coming second. I mean, look at that group. Look at that group. Can you believe that's happened? As we've got 26 million to spend in January as well, but do we need to spend it? I mean, Bart Verbruggen in Nets and really unhappy. Probably old man stepping in and taking his place, but you've got to live with that. Just suck it up. Let's just hope and pray the Champions League is our competition as we've basically got the new Odegaard. Absolutely cook them as there we go, a win. Gallagher the new man and Sildilia. Still a second leg to go though and come on, we've dropped Gallagher back a little bit into the midfield to sharpen us up and even Panzo scoring. Stevenage absolutely cooking. Oh. And Espanyol next. We could make a semi-final here. The RCDE Stadium. Never heard of it personally, but I'm guessing it's going to be a good atmosphere away from home. Still, only a draw. Get the job done with no suspensions, please. There we go. Vimmer, you winner as next. Semi-final time, undoubtedly harder. Anfield awaits. Will Anfield be shocked, though? They may be because they've got a 2-2 draw and they've got to go to the Lamex and win. So here we go. I'm very excited for this second leg, especially at home. Matthew, please come out on top. Yes, we've got the win. And <laughs> Steven, it's you're in the final. Gallagher. What a signing. Matteo did score 5-4 and we're going to be the finalists. The final that has us and probably Juventus, but either way, an Italian giant. So here we go. It's going to be Juventus at the Olympus Stadi on. Let's have a look and reminisce with this Stevenage lineup. Honestly, it is sensational. Our best players are Edgar, Nornheim and Matteo. Didn't expect those ones as his top scorer, of course, is Matteo Gallagher and Vimmer as can we, can, can we, I said like, can we twice then? Can we be the winners in this finale? Tried to make a joke that I've already made before and that's not even funny. So let's go. Here we are. Prime Gaming again <laughs> resembled in the final with the kit sponsor. I don't know how they landed it as well. But we have got to try and do a madness. Stevenage in the final. Who would have thunk it, eh? Definitely not me, but now we're here. We've got to make the most of it. And we've got to get running down this left-hand side, especially Nordheim and Edgar together. 
Yes, please. As now Juventus with the chance, though. Shut that corner down straight away. That's it, Nordheim. Actually got a chance to run himself, and he's got pace. He's only got Plemard to beat now, and he's around him. Nordheim, we love a run from a corner. That's a pass across into Gallagher. It should have been 1-0. Now our corner, as long as they don't run away with the ball. Matthew was underneath it, falls to Vimmer. Yeboah, the centre-back, has a shot. Vimmer again! And the Austrian is the man to break the deadlock. Vimmer, who scored all the way through the season with the opening goal. A sublime finish down low from our number 10, Patrick Vimmer, picks up on a loose ball, and it's second time lucky. No chance for the keeper. Best possible start. We've just got to keep on going, though, boys. Ledois, that's a ball through to Nordheim, and he's had a good shot. Absolutely dominant. Oh, no, but they're running behind of Gallagher. And immediately... Immediately, the man Frankie de Jong. We're all level here now, and we've got to try and come back. I just thought we'd keep that. Now it's such a challenge. Ball over the top, though. No time. Go on. No time! It is leaking goals here in this final. Number 13 is not unlucky. What is happening here? What is happening? Shot across the box and in the back of the net. Absolutely love that, but still, oh my days, they've struck the cross by Juventus. It could leak goals. It's a good job that it score the rebound. Block them off, do everything. As now we may get a chance, actually, before the half-time whistle goes. Matteo's been very, very quiet. Our strikers usually are, but the rest of the team's covering us. So second half is amongst us. And we've got to tackle in straight away with Nathan Collins. Let him know you're there and carry on like we were in the first half, apart from them scoring another goal. Vimmer's got a good run, and Matthew's doing a good run off the ball. He's ahead of Plemard, who's getting left behind a lot in this game, and it is 3-1. Immediately, we just get a bit of a gap. It's a brilliant goal, Matthew, the Belgian beast. We've just got it in. Absolutely love that, you know. Still, we've got to keep on going. Matthew slipped a ball through here, you know. This could be decent if we could whip it in. Over the man at the front. Oh, that should have been four. Very good in the counter-attack and... <laughs> well... We're going to rethink now. Juventus genuinely just pushing everything forward now as we've only got, what, 14 minutes. And Matthew on a charge. If he can get it inside, we're on another one of these counter-attacks, which we're brilliant at doing. Skilled inside. Absolutely done the defender. And that is one of the goals of this channel. What a brilliant move from Matthew. Nathaniel. Nathaniel just with the skill. Plemard, I tell you what. Needs to go to sleep, him. What a historical finish as it sees out the end of the game. And Stevenage have done it. They've won the Champions League with Steve Evans. Ledois will be the man to lift this trophy. Our number eight, our captain, who's been here quite a while now. We signed him when we just got promoted. And finally, after a lot of struggles in the season's lower down, we have won the big time in the purple kit. Of course, I didn't do this save for quite a while. Got a bit of a grudge against Stephen Inch. I don't know why, but it's finally done. Comment teams down below, and I'll surely get round to them as we prepare to go forward with FC24. I'll see you there. I'll see you in the next one as we plan to keep rebuilding.